What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going over some chainsaw preventative maintenance while you're on the trail. We're going to break down a couple simple little things for you to check. Make sure your saw is always running at its best. Now, 99% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please click that subscribe button and join us in the channel because you just might like it. Alright guys, so let's get down to the real reason why we're here today. So first things first, uh, when you get done running your chainsaw, uh, I'm going to show you a couple things that you should look for right off the bat. Make sure that you're cleaning out um, and keeping things clear. Let's go ahead and take off the clutch cover. Um, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay. All right guys, so I just ran my chainsaw for about a tank, um, and this is what I have to show for the inside of the clutch cover. So not all that dirty. Um, if you're not incredibly OCD about your chainsaws, you do not need to clean them every tank. Um, I would say at least every outing, if you're going through you know, four or five tanks of gas, uh, would be more than enough. So uh, if you look closer here, uh, down behind the clutch cover, uh, we do have a little bit of buildup near our chain tensioner. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the bar off. If you were just a weekend warrior and you use this uh, very little, like this here, this has only had one tank on it since I cleaned it last, uh, you know, it, it's not all that bad. So you just want to be cognizant of just how much stuff is building up. So let's go ahead and take this bar and chain off here and uh, I'll show you something. All right guys, now that we've taken off the bar and chain, uh, let's bring you in close here and look at the oiler, uh, make sure that everything's clean around here. So uh, all I usually do is, um, if, I'm, if I'm out on the trail or something like that, I always carry a small uh, scrub brush with me and I can literally just clean out these areas around the oiler plate. So up here is where your oil comes out of the oil tank. Um, and through your oiler, and this is where it's dispensed into the bar guide. So, uh, you know, you just want to keep everything generally clear. Um, it does not have to be uh, very, very, very clean, but uh, this is something that I would do in, in the field um, when I'm changing a chain. So go ahead and brush that off. Just get it kind of uh, cleaned up. Now, if you were back in the shop and you wanted to clean this, um, the best way is to use a... Uh, a uh, you know, air gun and spray it off with air. Um, of course, it blows oily crap and gunk everywhere all over the garage. So um, it's usually an outside project um, to, to uh, spray this down. But, uh, just want to, want to uh, be cognizant of your oil guide here. Make sure that it's not clogged up. So now let's go over to the bar. Let's talk about the bar um, and exactly what you need to make sure is clear on the bar. Okay, so I had this bar on um, this side up here. So when I took it off the saw, um, the oiler is oiling into this port right here. So you want to make sure that these ports stay clear. Um, you sometimes uh, you sometimes can see you know you can see the uh, the light through the porthole here. Um, you need to make sure that this guide down the middle of the bar stays cleared out. So. If it did get clogged up, it would look exactly like this one over here, where you can see, you can physically see that there's gunk in it, and it's it's uh, literally uh, plugged. I can't even get uh, anything out of it with my finger. So this is somewhere where you need to go through and clean it out. So a lot of guys, if you want a pro tip, a lot of guys will uh, flip their bar over every time they change their chain, but they will not check the oil port on the other side. So if I were to have the bar right side up, I'm oiling in, in this chamber here because it goes on the saw like this. And then, you know, your oil port down here is going right into here, okay? If I flip the bar over and I'm running it upside down for even wear, okay, and I put it back on, now we're using the oiler over here that is clogged. So 
Be cognizant of that if you're running your chainsaw and you're flipping the bar because you changed your chain. Now you need to make sure the area is clear. All right, so second most important thing to do is make sure that you clean out the guide rail. So where your chain slides along the bar here uh, definitely needs to be clear because the oil is feeding into the drive links. So if you want a, uh, a nerdy conversation about this, let's talk about the drive links. So the drive links here are on the bottom and they have the holes in them, okay? so. The oilmatic chains are, they started to dimple out these chains here. So if you can see that these dimples in here, they're designed to carry oil down the bar. So if you see those dimples, those are basically um, smaller, um, little, little just uh, pockets to carry oil down the bar. So those, that is why those are there. So, um, you wanna make sure that those the, the guide rail is clear. Now, usually most of the time I will take my compress, uh, compressed air and blow down um, the channel, but when you're in the woods, you don't have it. So we're talking about in the woods, field maintenance, preventative maintenance. Um, I just have a piece of thin sheet metal and I go ahead and run it down the bar. So you can see that I'll have all kinds of crap come out of this bar here. All right, so we're just cleaning it out getting it uh, scraped out. So this is one tank of gunk coming out of here. Um, this is no more than one tank. Um, you can just see the amount of crap that gets down inside the bar. So this is something that you can easily uh, make and have a piece of sheet metal. You can get a piece of sheet metal from Lowe's or maybe if you're a, a fabricator, a guy that likes to work with stuff, um, you might have a piece laying around the house. So. That oiler on the other side is so jammed up, I can't even get this past it. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get that uh, oiler undone here. But we've got the bar pretty much cleaned out. Um, I'm going to attempt to try to push this out here. It looks like it's just got, yes, there we are. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now we've got the other oiler clear and got it out of the way. Well, maybe not. There's something else in there. So you just wanna make sure that, wow, okay, you're gonna really fight me. All right. Okay, cool. All right, now that we've got it cleared out. Now, all I do is take a cheap rag, a microfiber, whatever, wipe down the bar um, just to get the excess off. All right, just quick, down and dirty, uh, down and dirty uh, swap of the bar here or uh, basically trading it out for a new chain or just doing periodic maintenance um, right on the side of the trail. So obviously if you want to get OCD, it's completely up to you um, in making sure that you know you clean your chain and bar and chainsaw exactly how you want it to be cleaned. But these are the crucial points on a chainsaw to make sure that chain is getting oil. So we won't go into any discussion about what type of oil uh, or anything like that. I just wanted to put that out there. You need to make sure these crucial areas are cleaned out. The guide rail all the way down, use a piece of sheet metal or compressed air if you're in the shop. Uh, or, uh, you know, just a simple brush. You can probably brush a lot of that out of there. It's completely up to you. Um, it depends on how much downtime you want on the trail. Every time I change my chain, um, I go ahead and flip my bar. So every other tank um, is usually, uh, not every other tank. So every other chain, my, my, uh, chain, my bar is right side up. Wow, I had some trouble with that one, but uh, just make sure that your oiler holes are clear. Um, your oiler is clear on the saw um, and you should be good to go. You wanna make sure that chains get oil and it's keeping it cool while you're running it. Just clean bulk. Uh, stuff out of your saw anytime you're cutting. So, all right guys, that's all I have to say about taking care of your chainsaw when it's on the trail. Um, just a nice preventative maintenance, a uh, little checklist to go through uh, when you've got some downtime, you're taking a break. Uh, Crack open the clutch cover, make sure your saw is clean and it's good to go for the next round of cutting. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And if you're subscribed, we'll see you in the next video.